Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about limit state design in very basic and simple words. In general, we have two limits for design as we call it ultimate limit state or ULS and serviceability limit state or SLS. Ultimate limit state deals with the strength of the material and sections and connections to take the loads and application of the loads and also stability like sliding and overturning of the structure due to combination of the loads. And for serviceability limit state, we are just looking for the service, service loads and combinations applied on the structure and the structure is going to perform normal and adequate. So, for ultimate limit state design, first we're going to have the design life of the structure and importance of the structure. Importance of the structure is just based on the failure outcome, outcome of the structure, how big is the failure effect, and we're going to put importance level on that, and also what's the annual probability of the exceedance of the effect like earthquake, wind or snow and also it's called return period of the action just generally are uh, wind, snow and earthquake and finally we're going to have the combination of the actions in ultimate limit state we're going to normally have factor increasing factor on the loads and put in combination and going to check with the reduced capacity of the structure reduced capacity of the section for beam column slab and wall and any other element that we're going to check so importance level comes in just mainly four five in different standards it may change it may vary if you have minor structure normal structure major structures post disaster structure and exceptional structure Miners are just less than 30 square meter and very or just farmlands or just very minor and normal are just for some residential commercial buildings and car parks and major structures are like water and wastewater treatment plants power plants post disasters are just like hospitals and medical centers and exceptionals are like major dams nuclear power plants and so on in this level, we're going to deal with return periods, periods between 25, that's very rare, and just going to have 500,000 and 2,500 return periods for the effects, for the events like wind, earthquake, and snow. And design life are generally, for the structure, it starts from six months, for temporary structures, five years, we can call it as temporary structure as well. 25, 50, and 100 years. That is same for serviceability and limit state as well. For combination of the actions in this limit state, ultimate limit state, we go, we, normally we're going to increase the actions. This is just example of the combination factors. It may it might be different in different codes but generally we have just one increase effect for gravity loads including self-weight and the imposed actions superimposed actions with different loads and also for live loads or just import action we have different combinations like if it's just applied on short term long term or just normally combination factor in with other company with other loads and also combination factor of imposed action when we apply earthquake so the only important very important thing in this combinations for ultimate limit state is that we always going to put ultimate load for earthquake ultimate load for wind and it is very different from what we're going to use in service limit state, serviceability limit state. This is just mainly, let's say, it is coming on the return period of 500, 1000, 2500, and so on. But in 
serviceability limit state generally we're going to have 25 years return period and the loads are very lower than ultimate load state so for serviceability, serviceability limit state same process we're going to have importance level of the structure and annual probability of the action or return pre return period of the action for wind earthquake and snow and for serv serviceability we generally have 25 years and in just very rare case we have about 500 years for very high importance structures but generally we have six months to 100 years design life as discussed for ultimate limit state and for combination of the actions generally we have no increased action for gravity and imposed action Impos superimposed and imposed action as we call it dead load and live load and for live load or imposed action we have the same short and long term effects and the main thing here always remember to have service wind and service earthquake in the combination that is much less than what we use for ultimate limit state and it may change it might it might be effective in your design in the point of view for cost and the materials you need and checkpoints the last step for serviceability and limit state design is what we're going to check with the applied loads so we learned that for serviceability lim service limit state we're going to have imposed and superimposed actions generally without increasing without factors and we're going to check deflection drift and in just very rare cases vibration for deflection is applying for vertical deflection like some simple beam or simply slab and it can be for cantilever part of a beam or slab in this case we're going to have check for both cantilever part that uh, cantilever part and the main part and the criteria for cantilever and main part are different and it is clearly mentioned in all codes what is the maximum number for this one that is generally uh, the function of length and also we have lateral displacement for total structure and also differential displacement between or drifts between the stories between the levels that uh, that's coming from the rigidity of the or just stiffness of the levels that in some standards we need to follow that and also for vibration effect we need to apply service loads and combinations and then going to have just what's the vibration on the structure generally let's say for beams and slabs for structures like gyms and the areas that like dance floors or gyms that dynamic effects are very important and also for ultimate limit state for strength always we're going to have design load that's coming from the combination of the loads factored loads as as we discussed in the combinations and we have four loads coming actual shear bending and torsion we're going to have all these effects with the reduced ultimate capacity of the structure ultimate capacity of the member member can be beam slab column wall or any other element that is that's going to be reduced with five factor that is different for each element for different for beam different for column wall slab and also different in different codes of practice and it's going to be compared with applied design load and for also for stability we're going to check for overturning or sliding and same combination factors coming in different codes for 
this load as well. But it is called, it is considered as part of ultimate limit state. Hope you have some general guides or general directions from this very simple and basic explanation of serviceability and ultimate limit state in the structures. See you.